Guys, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, especially if you love college football as much as I do. Shout out to the Florida Gators. They're number 22 in the country as a Seminole fan. That makes me a little happy because at the beginning of the year, I said Florida would be a better team than what they were last year. And clearly I was right. They're 3-1. and one. The Utah loss, Utah's in the top 10 now, so that loss looks pretty good right now uh, as far as their record goes. Kentucky, they're 4-0. They're a really good football team. I think their passing game with Devin Leary has really taken off. Kentucky's defense, no surprise. They're smash mouth. They're hard nosed. They're a very, very physical team. Offensively, they're pretty good. They run the football well. They pass the ball well with Devin Leary, obviously. And with Florida's offense, they look pretty good, too. I mean, they run the football well with Trevor Etienne, with Montreal Johnson. I think that's his name, right? I don't want to say his name wrong. He's a good player, too. Uh, what's really surprised me is Graham Mertz. He's been pretty good at throwing the football. He's been, And the thing is, he's good at throwing while on the run, like options or whatever it's called. I don't want to call it options to me, but that's, that's what I'm going to do. He's done pretty well. Florida's done pretty well offensively. They've really found a rhythm. Will that rhythm carry over into the Kentucky game? No. I think Kentucky wins this game at home. And that's the only reason I'm picking Kentucky to win this game. They're at home. You know, here's the thing. Florida looked really bad in that Kentucky loss last year, and their defense was well, really hurt them in that game, other than Richardson playing, like, you know, not very good. Um... I think Kentucky wins this game. I don't think it'll be a blowout. I think it'll be very competitive. But I think Florida wins this game by at least six. Excuse me. Kentucky wins this game by six points or less. I think Kentucky's defense and Devin Leary's ability to throw the football will be the difference in this game. Here's the thing. When Tennessee lost to Florida a few weeks ago, which was embarrassing because I picked Tennessee to win that game in a blowout, they had a quarterback that was not very accurate at throwing the football with uh, Joe Milton. And that will play a uh, part in my prediction with South Carolina and Tennessee this week. But back to the Kentucky game. I think Graham Mertz will do okay throwing the football. He won't be throwing a lot of picks in this game or anything like that. But I think he's going to get passes bad of the way. He's going to have a hard time completing a lot of passes and big downfield throws like he wants to. You know, Kentucky's defense is pretty good. They're a pretty physical football team. So with that being said, I think Kentucky wins this game. 24 to 16, 24 to 19, something really close. I mean, now it wouldn't surprise me if Florida won the game. I think Florida could win this game, but I would have to go with Kentucky only because they're home, and I think they're a pretty good team this year. I didn't think Devin Leary would make as much of a difference as he has, you know, because most of the time players coming off a serious injury like he is right now, they don't play as good the following year, but he's played pretty well. Kentucky's a pretty good team this year. I don't know about being good as far as beating Georgia or anything like that, but I mean, anything's possible, right? But I do think Kentucky wins this game, but it should be a close game. Florida's defense is so much better than last year's. They're a real physical defense up front. Nobody really want, runs the ball up down their throat like that. Um, but I do think Leary is good enough to not cost him the game against Florida.